this is Colin with ADO. I'm going to walk through our Century Brass Ensemble. I'll jump right in here starting with the horns too. As you can see we have a large variety of short notes. I'll discuss more details on those in a moment, but first here's the mix. <laughs> Now close. Decca. And wide. Many of the ensemble instruments have an articulation we call fanfare shorts. When brass players play rapidly or in repetition, they don't quite settle into their pitches the same way. The sound is more percussive and sort of lippy. I'll switch between fanfare and regular staccatissimo so you can hear the difference. The fanfare shorts are more acrobatic. Regular staccatissimo are more tonal, but not quite as nimble on fast phrases. <laughs> The length of crescendos in many of our other natural dynamic articulations can be controlled with the speed knob here. Uh, that's controlled by CC16 by default. Another new articulation you'll see frequently in century brass are our soaring articulations. These are essentially bold marcados with a natural dynamic arc. They bridge that gap between short notes and long. They're sampled in multiple dynamics and the length can also be controlled by the speed knob. Dynamic arcs are a huge part of century brass. They're sampled in multiple dynamics and lengths. Again, the speed knob allows you to dial in the length to match your composition. Velocity determines the strength of the arc itself. They sound far superior to traditional sustained crossfading. Once you use them, we feel you'll find yourself using sustained crossfades a lot less. Now here's the horns to legato. This is a quick example of arcs and legato playing together.
here are the sustains crossfading dynamics using the mod wheel. They sound nice, particularly on horns, but I would still stick with arcs and the soaring articulations for most of your century riding. Here are flutter tongue and trills. These are muted articulations. We sampled two types of mutes for horns, boucher and straight. Boucher mutes are very similar to stopped in tone, but the range is just greater. Moving on to the Horn 6 Ensemble, here's the mix. Now close. and wide. Again, here are the staccatissimo and then the fanfare shorts so you can hear the difference between the two. Here are soaring short and long. Again, these are bold mercados with a nice dynamic arc on the tail. The length can be altered by the speed knob and they are sampled in multiple dynamics. Here are double and triple tongues. Here's crescendo long. Again, sampled in multiple dynamics, velocity determines the strength of the arrival of the arc. Here are regular sustains crossfading, followed by flutter tongue. Here 
here's our legato. Here are the muted articulations. Again, we sample Boucher and straight mutes. Next we have the Horns 12 ensemble. We sampled the 12 horns in a very large hall versus the tighter soundstage we used for the other brass. Keep in mind with a hall you'll get less walls and burn in the sound, but there's a lot more body and weight. It's just an entirely different character. Here's the mix. <laughs> close. play through the other Horns 12 arts here. With the burn of our two and six horns combined with the weight and body of the 12, you get our favorite massive French horn ensemble ever. Essentially, it's the sound of 20 horns with the benefits of both a large hall and a tight soundstage. Next we have the Trumpets 2 Ensemble. Here's a combination of the mics. Close.
Decca. Now mix. Here are double and triple tongues. Here are the soaring articulations. Here's our legato. Now we have the sustains. Again, I use them sometimes, but probably the majority of the time I'm a lot happier using the arcs or the soaring articulations. Here's Crescendo. These are our muted articulations. We sampled Harmon and straight mutes for trumpets. Moving on to trumpets four, here's the mix using a variety of short notes. Now close.
Next, here's the staccatissimo and fanfare shorts together so you can hear the difference. Here are double and triple tongues. Here are the soaring articulations. Sustains. Legato. And once again, the mutes. We also did Harmon and straight mutes for the four trumpets. Finally, we have Trombones 3. Here are the Trombones 3 playing the mix microphone using fanfare shorts, tacarissimo, marcato, soaring, and crescendos. We are really thrilled with how agile and aggressive these trombones came out. <laughs> Decca. Staccatissimo followed by fanfare shorts. Again, you'll hear the fanfare shorts are less tonal, more biting and percussive. This is 
Lopez Legato. Once again, our arcs sampled in multiple dynamics and responding to velocity. It's just a more powerful and emotional sound compared to traditional sustained crossfades. Here are the regular sustains. And here's Flutter Tongue. Last but not least, here are the muted articulations. These are straight mutes. <laughs> 